Hey, Dr. Sam, and I want to today answer the question, what is the best way to treat inflammation? I get asked this question all the time. As a physical therapist and wellness doctor, people are constantly coming to me with complaints of pain and inflammation, and they want to know the best way to treat it. So first, I'd like to explain to you a little bit about inflammation. Inflammation is actually not necessarily always a bad thing. Inflammation is actually a stage of healing. If you open a book on rehabilitation or medicine, you're going to see three distinct stages of healing listed. First one being inflammation, the second one being repair, and the third one being remodeling. So the first stage of healing is actually inflammation. Very often though, inflammation gets a bad rap. People are always trying to suppress inflammation by taking anti-inflammatories. And when you think about it, if you were to take an anti-inflammatory, it's almost like saying, I'm against the healing process, right? Because inflammation is a stage of healing. So if we take an anti-inflammatory, we're actually saying, I don't want to heal. I'm against the healing process. And we all know that that's not the case. It's just a misunderstanding about the role inflammation plays in the body. So you need to understand that inflammation is not always a bad thing. However, you don't want inflammation hanging around for a long time because it wasn't meant to be a prolonged chronic process. Once it becomes that, it can, it can create a little havoc in the body. Inflammation should run its course in anywhere from 24 to 72 hours, maybe up to a week or two, just depending on how significant the inflammation is. But after that point, inflammation should not be lingering around. If it is, it's basically because it's being perpetuated, meaning the cause has not been removed. Okay, so one of the best ways to treat inflammation is to actually remove the cause. Now, often when people say, do you think I should take this anti-inflammatory, my question back to them is, what is the point if your diet and lifestyle are pro-inflammatory? Which just means that what you're doing, what you're eating, and how you're living your life is actually creating an inflammatory response in the body. So hopefully that got you thinking because the best way to treat inflammation is to simply remove the cause. And one of the easiest ways to do that for a lot of people is cleaning up their diet and lifestyle. So just consuming healthier food and stop smoking and get to bed a little bit earlier, get a little bit more sunshine, learn to breathe a little bit fuller and deeper. These are the types of things I'm talking about. Hopefully you got a lot out of that video. I look forward to answering more questions in the future. This is Dr. Sam. Thank you for your time. <music>